Mr. Chair, Excellencies, Honorable Ambassadors, dear colleagues. Today, meetings provide a good opportunity to discuss the ways in which we can work together toward more efficient and effective peacekeeping. In the spirit of collective responsibility, Armenia has been increasingly expanding its involvement in UN and UN-mandated peace and st stability operations, including through involvement in the UNIFIL and MINUSMA. Armenia is contributor to the NATO-led missions in Kosovo and Afghanistan. We have also shown consistent commitment to help bring lasting change in areas affected by the crisis, as reflected through our most recent deployment of national humanitarian mission in Syria, comprising of medical personnel and demining specialists in cooperation with our Russian colleagues and in response to the request of Syria and its Armenian community. I would like to take this opportunity to reaffirm Armenia's continued commitment to contribute to the international efforts in upholding international peace and security and to support the Secretary General's reform agenda. We are currently working on building specialized capacities of a Roll 2 field hospital and EOD engineering unit with CID capabilities to contribute to UN peacekeeping missions as needed. Those pledges have been duly announced and we are looking forward to completion of the relevant verification procedures to officially elevate our capabilities to make them deployable as soon as possible. With the support of our partners, in particular with the United States, we are developing a national peacekeeping training capability to ensure proper training for our troops before they deploy to the peacekeeping missions. The goal is to certify the training capability as an international peacekeeping training center and make it available for peacekeepers from other countries. I would like also add that the last month, the government of Armenia adopted national action plan for the implementation of UNSCR 1325. The document prioritizes enhancement of training and career development possibilities for women with a view to increasing their participation in peacekeeping as well as the peace building activities. We already have women deployed to K4 in Kosovo and resolute support in Afghanistan. And more women will soon be deployed to UNIFIL mission during our next rotation cycle in summer 2019 in order to ensure the compliance with the 15% target set by the United Nations. Mr. President, in October, Armenia hosted the 17th summit of the International Organization of La Francophonie. The outcome document of this summit, the Yerevan Declaration, amongst other areas for cooperation for La Francophonie, recognized the importance of wrapping up the effectiveness of peacekeeping operations deployed by the United Nations and regional organizations in Francophone countries. It calls for further efforts to build capacity in Francophone personnel. In this context, I am pleased to note that with the support of L'Alliance Francaise, Armenia launched a language training program for peacekeeping personnel, and we are currently working to train French language interpreters so that they can participate in peacekeeping activities. I thank you, sir, for your attention.